Australopithecus literally means southern ape. It is an extinct genus of members of the human family tree. Scientists generally accept five species, A. afarensis, A. africanus, A. anamensis, A. garai, and A. sediba as belonging to the genus. We'll take a look at each of the Australopithecine species in turn, covering their time of emergence in the fossil record, probable place in our family tree, and overall traits. But first, let's look at an overview of the human family tree. Humans are just one ape on the primate family tree. We, along with the other apes, split off from chimps around six or seven million years ago. After that, various upright walking apes from several genera evolved. All of the upright walking species, including us, are called hominids, from family hominidae. We are Homo sapiens, belonging to the genus Homo. There are at least several extinct members of the genus Homo. One is Homo neanderthalensis, with whom we have interbred, while another is Homo habilis, which is known for being one of the early stone tool users. Australopithecus is another hominid genus that evolved earlier than Homo. In fact, genus Homo appears to have evolved from genus Australopithecus. The hominid family tree is grouped by genus, or by related genera in the case of the earliest grouping. The exact relationships between these species are not well understood, and doubtless many more are waiting to be discovered. The Australopithecus species, referred to as Australopithecines, had features that were both human-like and ape-like. Their brains were smaller and more in the range of the brains of modern apes. They tended to have longer arms that seemed well-suited to climbing. In general, their facial features looked more ape-like than human, with sloping faces and jutting jaws. However, their skeletons show that they walked upright. Furthermore, the teeth of some species were more like human teeth. Perhaps more importantly, they showed that our ancestors started walking upright before the evolution of larger brains. Living some 4.2 to 3.9 million years ago, A. anamensis is the oldest known Australopithecine. A. anamensis had a jaw like a chimp, but teeth that were clearly hominid. While little of its skeleton has been found, it is thought to have climbed trees like other Australopithecines, as well as walked upright. Originally discovered in 1965 by a Harvard team, more fossils were found in the decades since. The finds range from Lake Turkana in Kenya to northeast Ethiopia. Anthropologist Maeve Leakey was responsible for officially naming the species in 1995. Known affectionately to the public as the Lucy fossil, A. afarensis ranged through Ethiopia, Kenya, and Tanzania from 3.85 to 2.95 million years ago. The species is thought to be either a direct ancestor of genus Homo or a close relative of such an ancestor. It is also the first species that made scientists realize that upright walking evolved before large brains. A. afarensis walked on two legs but still had the long arms for climbing trees. Its brain size was about a third of human brain size. Its teeth were larger than human teeth but smaller than ape teeth, and it had a protruding ape-like jaw. Afarensis matured at a faster rate than humans. Famous footprints in fossilized volcanic ash at the Laetoli site in Tanzania are thought by many scientists to have been made by A. afarensis. There are over 900 fossils representing this species, making it one of the best-known hominid species. Discovered in 1924, the Tong Child was the first evidence of early human species in Africa. The name, Australopithecus africanus, literally means Southern Ape of Africa. It was named for the fact that it lived in modern-day South Africa. It was the first of many hominid species to be discovered on the African continent. While not immediately accepted as part of the human family tree, A. africanus is one of the most talked about species, particularly because of the way that the Tong child is thought to have died. The Tong child is thought to have been killed by an eagle. The holes in its skull seem to match those that would be made by eagle talons, although some believe it was leopard teeth. A variety of small animal bones and fossil eggshells seem to support the eagle hypothesis. Regardless of how he died, the Tong child shows that our ancestors were still prey at this time and probably had to work together for protection. A. africanus has a larger brain and rounder skull than A. afarensis. The teeth are also smaller. 
It had a curved lower spine for absorbing shock when walking, which it did bipedally. Human lower spines have the same sort of curvature. On the other hand, Africanus retains the more ape-like sloping face, jaw, and long arms and shoulders adapted for climbing. Found in the Middle Awash region of Ethiopia two and a half million years ago, A. garai shows a longer femur and a greater tendency toward upright walking. Ape-like arms still allowed it to climb trees. While Garai's brain size was the same as other Australopithecines, about one-third that of modern humans, it has some cranial features that resembled Homo species. What is perhaps most interesting about A. garai is that they used stone tools to crack open bones to get at the marrow. Still possessing ape-sized brains, this level of intelligence is supported by the fact that all known great ape species today have been reported using tools of some sort. This tool usage is the first seen in human ancestors outside of genus Homo. A. sediba is slightly under 2 million years old. It was discovered in 2008 near Johannesburg, South Africa by a 9-year-old named Matthew Berger. It is known from a nearly complete skeleton. Different aspects of its teeth point to similarities to other Australopithecines, as well as to Homo species. Its pelvis and lower chest resemble that of Homo, while other traits resemble those of Australopithecus. A. sediba is therefore a good candidate for being a direct ancestor of the genus Homo. Let's review. An important part of our family tree, Australopithecus, literally meaning southern ape, is now extinct, but the genus was made of five distinct species, A. afarensis, A. africanus, A. anamensis, A. garai, and A. sediba. With their various characteristics, they each contributed to the evolution of Homo sapiens. Our current state of knowledge about human evolution is always changing. Future finds will no doubt shed further light on our own family tree.